This is how Pope Francis greeted Alberto Mielli at the Great Synagogue of Rome. The 91-year-old survived two years at the Auschwitz concentration camp. During his visit, Pope Francis honored the memory of all victims of the Holocaust. La Shoah ci insegna che occorre sempre massima vigilanza per poter intervenire tempestivamente in, defe, in difesa della dignità umana e della pace. Vorrei, vorrei esprimere la mia vicinanza ad ogni testimone della Shoah ancora vivente e rivolgo il mio saluto particolare a coloro a voi che siete qui presenti. It's the same message Alberto has repeated since his nightmare in Auschwitz ended. He especially wants young people to keep in mind that hate only leads to evil. Mai portare odio, rancore o vendetta, poiché questi tre fattori formano un circolo vizioso che sfocia sempre in lutti e morte. Perciò bisogna sempre pensare alla pace. In his new book, We Were Jews, he describes being deported from Rome in October 1943, as well as his two years in a concentration camp. His granddaughter helped him write the book. Although he never forgot what happened to him, he said it's difficult to find the words to describe it. Stare circa due anni ad Auschwitz è una cosa... Non so neanche spiegargli, ma è una cosa che ho dovuto vedere con i miei occhi, l'apice della cattiveria, della malvagità dell'uomo. Dove può arrivare un uomo a fare del male ai suoi simili? It took him decades to reach the point of being able to describe some of the most difficult moments in his life, which were filled with unexpected cruelty. Un appello alla coscienza che si è aperta anche a questo ricordo dolorosissimo. Non dimentichiamo che Alberto ha cominciato a parlare 40 anni dopo aver vissuto questa tragedia della Shoah in termini personali. Vatican spokesman Federico Lombardi, who wrote the prologue, attended the book's presentation at Vatican Radio headquarters. He placed a kippah on his head to show respect for the Jewish people in commemoration of the Day of Remembrance. It's an event celebrated internationally to mark when Soviet troops liberated Auschwitz. The book ends with the blessing for children, expressing Alberto's wish. The survivor wants to leave behind just one idea with his book. It's a simple idea, but one that has been difficult to put into practice throughout history. L'uomo si deve mettere in testa che bisogna, bisogna amare il prossimo.